Hey there Dev Squad, Vertus here and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how we can save time programming using these two plugins by our sponsor Out of the Box. This is a sponsored video, however I can say without a doubt by using these plugins you are going to be able to save time. And not only that, because this is global systems for both events and variables, you are going to have a whole bunch of functionality for writing your code that you did not have before. So the first one is the event system. The event system essentially allows you to easily manage your various events inside of Blueprints or C++. Now with these events, these are going to become global, which means you're going to be able to access them from any blueprint. Next up, you have the variable system, which essentially allows you to easily create global variables that you can access from any blueprint without the need of casting to another one. So you're going to be reducing the amount of code that you're going to be using and making the whole process easier. Let's go ahead and dive into Unreal Engine 4 and show you exactly how this is done. Okay, so now we're inside of Unreal Engine 4, I can go ahead and show you exactly what these two plugins do. To start with, we have the event system. The event system is essentially going to allow you to very easily manage your events and spread them across multiple blueprint classes. And this can save us a lot of time. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and open up a blueprint actor that I have at the moment and I'm going to show you the problem that it does solve. Now if you take a look at the blueprint that I've got active at the moment, you can see I have got a collision box and then with this we have an actor begin overlap event. Now every time you do something like this where it involves another actor, you have to cast to it. Now by using this system we can actually eliminate that cast to third person character. Not only that, if I want to access this event inside of a blueprint, that is something that I'm going to be able to do using this plugin, because previously you would have to go through all manner of different code to do just that. So in a moment I'm going to put together a simple little event using this system and you'll see just how powerful it is and if you are a programmer you're going to understand exactly what it means for your code. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete this cast to third person character node. And then once I've done that, and then what I'm going to be doing is inside of my content browser, I'm going to right click and I'm going to create myself an event. Now normally it's done inside of the blueprint editor. However, because this is entirely global, we can actually access this directly from the content browser. So right click, go to blueprints and create an observation event. And then with this, we're going to give it the name event and then open this up. If we open this up, what we do have access to right now is a description editor. So we can type in exactly what this event is going to do. For example, we could type in player has walked over this item. Please do any function attached. So that's just anything you can do. It's really great for commenting your code and letting people know exactly what this event is. So if they reference it later on, they know exactly what is going to be firing off from that. So going back to our blueprint that I've got here with my trigger, event actor begin overlap, what we can do is go ahead and invoke and then with that, we are going to be able to invoke that event that we just created. If we need to, we've got the instigator here. So what we have now is we have access to an event and we can call that event from any blueprint that we want. And whenever this is fired off, it is going to call that event that we've got in our content browser. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to call that event from another blueprint. So what we're going to do is open up our third person character. And then inside of here, what we need to do is we actually need to create an OBS listener component. And this component, essentially what it's going to do is listen for the events using this plugin. We're going to give this the default name. And then what we can do is on event invoked, if we go ahead and press the green button on the right in the details panel for that, we can actually use a event that is coming from the code that we've got here. And then anything we do in here is going to be fired off. So what I could do is print string. 
Now, to actually tell the engine which event it is listening for, what we need to do is go over to our OBS listener component, event to listen, and then we're going to set this to event. And it is simple as that, and we can now use that event anywhere in our code, which is really, really good for programming your functionality. Once you incorporate this into your gameplay, you are going to see just how much time you can save by programming all of this stuff in, because normally you'd be running backwards and forwards, trying trying to generate the code to get all of this firing off together in multiple blueprints. So anyway, that is everything for the event system. What we're now going to do is move on to the variable system plugin, which is a great bit of kit for managing your variables and globally accessing them across multiple blueprints. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off by showing you how you would normally access a variable that is inside of another blueprint. So inside of my third person character, if I create a variable with the name test, and then we set the variable type to integer and hit compile, Accessing it from another blueprint can sometimes be difficult. What we'd have to do is cast to the third person character or wherever that blueprint is stored. And then as third person character, we then need to get test and then we do all the maths. And essentially by using this variable system, we can actually eliminate all of this casting. We can make it really straightforward. Now, when it comes to casting to other blueprints, it can sometimes be quite difficult because you generally need an object wildcard. Whereas this, this system is actually going to completely eliminate that. So let me go ahead and show you exactly how it works. So like I said, using this system, these variables are now gonna be global. So instead of them actually being stored in a specific blueprint, they are gonna be in the content browser instead. To create one of these variables, all you need to do is right click, go to miscellaneous and then go to var system. And then from here, you can choose which type of variable you want to create. For the purpose of this video, I am going to be creating a float variable. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit select and give this the name test variable. Now let's say we wanted to access this inside of the third person character. We can do so very easily. So referencing that variable that we created globally inside of our content browser could not be easier. All we need to do is because that is a float variable, we are going to be going in and we're going to be typing in get float value. And then with this, what we need to do to access this is simply select the asset in the content browser, the variable that we created, and then just press use asset browser selection. And with that done, we now have direct access to that variable. So we do not need to do any casting whatsoever. And this is going to work inside of any blueprint 100%. So what I could then go ahead and do is do float plus float, and then I could take the value of that variable, add one to it, and then what we would then do is set float value, and then with this, what we can do is go ahead and hook up the test value, just like that, put it in there from the content browser, and then it is going to set it. So this is a lot less code than you generally would have. Now, I know I haven't actually put this into any examples, but what I wanted to do is show you the functionality and any good programmer that is going to benefit from this is gonna understand exactly how much this is gonna help and what you can do with it. Anyway, guys, that is everything for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you do wanna go ahead and download Download these plugins, go ahead and check it out using the coupon code VertusLearn19 for 10% off. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Vertus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.